day in 1939, The Wizard of Oz hit the cinema. It's so beautiful. And of course, in the film, Dorothy has to click her ruby slippers three times to get home to Kansas. Um, Elise, if you could click your heels now and be anywhere. I mean, I imagine your answer will be, I'd remain on this sofa. <laughs> it's the dream. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you go in the world right now? Oh, probably Japan. Oh, have you been yeah. before? Is no, it? never. And yes. it's, it's on the top of my list. I'd love to yeah, go to Japan. Same. Tokyo. It's supposed to be like yeah. another planet. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but you can get that kind of real intensity vibe, but then the cool. beautiful. Yeah, it's very, very good. And then they have those now. blossom parks, yeah. don't they, where you go, you have to go and just catch it at the right time. It's just yeah. incredible. I would love to go. Skip about. Mm. Um, what do you reckon, Harry? Oh, can I come to Japan? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, you can click them together. That's it. Go to Japan. Jan at the weekend, are you just trying to relax because you work so hard? I think it's the same, similar with Jack. We don't... I don't, I don't really have weekends. Mm. I guess I just sort of work across them and then I'll just have a Tuesday where I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, that sounds not I have a day. <laughs> I have a day. Tuesday. I'm big on breakfast. So when I have a day off, I'm big on breakfast. Mm. I like to wake up and breakfast is a real, it's a do real thing. Do you go thing. out for a nice brekkie or do you stay sometimes, in? Sometimes, sometimes I stay in, but I, I get intense with nice. my breakfast. Nice. Like if I'm making porridge. I'm getting all the cinnamon, the turmeric, mm. all the toppings, peanut butter, Ooh. got my coffee. Nice. And then three out three or four hours have gone by. <laughs> and it's lunchtime and I'm like, but I'm um, I've just finished breakfast. Yeah, I just finished. And then breakfast. I'll have lunch. <laughs> hey, oh, it sounds great. Food based so again. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, Harry, if you weekends, what are they about? Uh, spending some family time, I suppose. Nice. I just went and hung with my niece and nephew last weekend. Teaching the little nephew how to ride a bike, he can't stand yet, but he, I thought he's ready. <laughs> yeah, you're like, come on, get yeah, on yeah, with yeah. it. Um, how old is he? One. He just turned one last week. And, Very cute. And, and you're, you're from Oz, but you've three. got you've got family here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, We're nice. kind of all over the place. Excellent. We've got a little pic. Look. Oh, he's Wait. sweet. Oh, Maxie. Oh. <laughs> little Max. That's an impressive walled garden in the back there. It looks quite pull dark. It's a good little <laughs> retreat, yeah. Very nice. Um, that is such a cute pig. Lisa and Harry, you play Moenna and Drake Khan in Poldark. Um, at the end of the last series, uh, you guys got spliced, it was all nice. Is it going to be happily ever after? Do tell. We can't tell you that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be furious Poldark fans going, why did you give it away? Because it's coming towards the very end, isn't it now? Yes, yeah, yes. half, I think we're about halfway through mm. the final series now. Um, I got yeah. fully obsessed after the first series or two. I started wearing really long, flowy skirts. Did you? <laughs> yeah, and I got a decanter. <laughs> oh, yeah, decanter. So, you know, Elizabeth was always banging into that sort of crystal oh, yeah. cup decanter. A yeah. little bit of slow gin of an <laughs> afternoon. The sound is really satisfying when you take it yeah, and then yeah. you chew it yeah. And the feeling, yeah, of like yeah. have a bit of booze in the And then I thought, no, that's not the way forward. <laughs> um, you, what were you saying? You got her. A we, we, we got one at the end. Did you get one? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you no? get one? <laughs> oh. well, I'm glad you did. That would have been awful <laughs> yeah. if we had a storm off. So I didn't Yeah, decanter. we got given decanters each as a gift and it's got pulled out five in grain. My mum nicked mine. Really? Yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> I've yeah, never you've, seen it again. You've got to give your mum stuff like that, though, when you get yeah. fun stuff. <laughs> let's have a little look at a clip of you in action, let's see. I said farewell to my son today. For good? Yes. I will never go back. I love him. will always love him. I've tried to lock away the pain of losing him. But in doing so, I've locked away other love. So her little boy, John Conan, um, that mm. Rebecca Front used to like her. She's really good at being a baddie, isn't she? Um, yeah. So she's desperately, my one is desperate to get her little boy back. Mm. Um, and you try to help, don't you? Drake tries yeah. to help to get him back. Yeah, and and is Drake great. is such a sweet, simple character, isn't he? He's got such a good heart to him. Yeah, it's a hard role for me to play. <laughs> 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 well, because you're very complex and cruel. So dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you were filming the final scenes, was yeah. it hard to hold it together? I got very, very emotional. Did you really? Yeah. Has it yeah. been an amazing experience, the whole thing? 
Yeah, it's, it really it's has. It's definitely been an experience. It's been amazing. <laughs> it feels like it feels like family. Like yeah. it, going to Cornwall in September just felt like a like a holiday, like a summer holiday with your mates. It was so nice. Um, and so. when you're down in Cornwall, were you, like, on your days off, could you just, would you ever have time to go and enjoy Cornwall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. We did a lot of filming in St Ives, like around the St Ives oh, area. so nice. That's beautiful. The people were so nice. Yeah. It was good to, like, check on your accent as well when you meet the locals and be like, oh, I'm getting that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so were you just constantly chatting to them, like, how do you do that? <laughs> um, do you miss the outfits at all? I mean, you, what you're wearing today is a little bit corsety. I know. I've, yes. I've, I've given a nod, haven't I, a little bit? <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they're really fun at first. Yes. And it is always fun, you know. I, I grew up loving period dramas, so mm. to actually wear those dresses and, um, and be in that setting was, like dream come true yeah. but they do dig in the corsets dig yeah you know at the end of the day you've got an imprint on your torso Ouch. it's it could could intense you stash your moby in all those skirts though was oh yeah lots of different places to stash, <laughs> to stash your moby okay, yeah. it's like a parlor game a, where's Elise stashed her like, yeah. <laughs> stash moby today um so you're from australia aren't you harry yeah, um, yeah. do they show pole dark in australia uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Which so is you're really nervous. weird. Yeah. You get people coming up and they're like, mate, we bloody love this show. And so I, see, I was like, really? <laughs> cool. And, and with the blacksmith, we'd be in a farrier for the show and learning how to do a bit of that. If we were to bring a horse on now, would you be able to confidently shoe it, do you think? Harry? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, we got bring really? on the... <laughs> no, it's fine. Not really, it's fine. Um, <laughs> in, in honour of Paul Darkers, Harriet and Elise, who've got some ideas to get you in the Georgian mood. Um, have a look at this. This is rather lovely. Elise, you've got a, a lovely beach to recommend, yes, I believe. I do. So it's called Holywell Bay Beach yes. in Cornwall, which is actually the beach where Moana and Drake uh, would hang out a lot. <laughs> hang out they there. Their wishes there. Yeah, really. That's sweet. where they met. Look, how nice. Way. So lovely. Weren't you watching from yeah. behind a rock while you were sort of skipping around? I seem to remember Drake was like. Yeah. <laughs> Watching, <laughs> cute. <Great. So> cute. <laughs> <laughs> what um, goes on there? Tell us about it. Yeah, so it's a stone's throw from seaside towns of Perranport and Newquay, which is one of the most picturesque beaches in Cornwall. Very nice. Um, and while you're there, you can also go surfing at the Holywell Bay School of Surf, which provides lessons for ages what? seven plus at the prices of £30 per person. Very well presented. Thank, thank you. Well done. Thank Time you. for you to shine now, Harry. What do you have for us? It's something to that. do. Uh, <laughs> with the Wimpole Shires carriage rides on the Wimpole estate, is that right? Yeah. And you can feel just like Morwenna and Drake by taking a horse and carriage ride around the grounds. Uh, and you can be on pulled by a shire horse. Your own personal driver and groom will take you from a historic farm through the National Trust Parkland for 45 minutes. Nice. It's 80 pounds for up to four people. And there's a basic blacksmith course. <laughs> Learn to use a hammer and anvil like Harry's character. That's me. Very nice. Yeah, like you. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. Very nice. Bit of a bang bang there. I like that a it lot. It is a lot of fun. Uh, what the old um, just <laughs> the thwacking away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you can go uh, scything if you fancy that. Uh, <laughs> obviously, Aidan as Paul Dark was that famous scene of him cutting back the grass. Um, just for research purposes, <laughs> there's, there's a picture. But I don't want to object to him. Tops optional. <laughs> yeah, um, good one for the husband. Like, babe, look what I got you for your birthday. <laughs> you top off. Um, so, uh, scything apparently has had a bit of a resurgence recently. I missed that. It's an eco-friendly <laughs> method of clearing grass. You can get involved. There's loads of courses around the UK. If you've got a massive garden, get out there, do a bit of scything. Um, so there's the Surrey Wildlife Trust Beginners Course for forty-five pounds, twenty-ninth. Of August, have a little Google and find out. Siding for beginners. Not a sentence I thought I'd ever say on the telly. Uh, time <laughs> now to fatten up Betty with more tunes for our playlist. Elise, if you ask her nicely. Betty, please play my song. No. <laughs> oh, my God, it's not a Like a minimal rave. <laughs> Uh, so, Todd Tosh, is that right? Mm, Inspector yeah. Norse, why do you love that song? Yeah. 
It reminds me of uni, being at uni, and it always just plays when I'm having a really great time, just unexpectedly, so I just associate it now with just being really happy. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to pop on there for us, Harry? Let's find out. Ask Betty. Betty, play my song. Well, whimsical. I have to do this with the skirt. Yeah. Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. Oh, so Dolly sweet. nearly got serenaded there. That was a beautiful moment. <laughs> no um, why that song, please? Uh, I had a weird experience recently. A friend took me to see Fleetwood and at at Wembley, I suppose, yeah. and, and and I met Stevie Nicks after. Wow. And she came up and she was like, I know you, I write poems about Morwenna all the time in my journal. <gasps> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> this is really weird. That's incredible. Yeah, it was super strange. But I, I, it was super strange because I had, like, I mean, Elise knows I, like, I act mainly just with music. I just I'd make loads of playlists in order to, like, understand what's going on. And it was just riddled with Fleetwood songs. So when she said that, I was like, why? Well, to what? It's all about you. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Yeah, it was um, good times. We're going to pop them up on the playlist. You lot at home can find it on Spotify. You can catch Elise and Harry in Paul Dyke tomorrow, 9 pm, BBC One. If you've not yet got involved, then you can binge your watch on the iPlayer. Go wild. Elise Chaffel and Harry Richardson, everyone, they're fantastic. <laughs>